took us a minute, but we uh, finally uh, put it together and ended up putting this team away. I, I think it's just who we are. Um, you know, we went and saw a movie yesterday, a, a drama, and I think it fits our, our team, man. They like, I guess they just like keeping it close. I don't know. I'm proud of them, though. You know, if they're all, hadn't had a flag the whole first half and second half. Right, first drive is like flag city, but. Um, Another score you know, on the Duckworth property. That's what life is, man. You're going to get hit in the mouth of Two days in a row. But just over you know, you four minutes to go until the half. And, uh, we're getting there. I love our kids. They the don't quit. They don't count. You know, Kentucky they stay together. Um, but, man, that was a long two weeks. I'm glad we get to play next Friday. We're going to celebrate this one. This is a physical football game, so I know we'll be very, very sore. They will be. Um, you know, but really proud of them. Proud of our coaching staff. we got a long way to go. We, we can get a lot better. Yeah. We're about we to have a cat I'm really here. proud of Wildcat their response, the you know, after losing the Bambers. And, and uh, I think we're relatively healthy and got to keep getting better. I was going to ask you, how much do you think uh, being off for two weeks had to do with the inconsistency tonight? Well, any team I've ever coached kind of comes out sluggish, you know, during an open week. Sometimes you think, you you know, you do a little too much scheme-wise and stuff like that. And uh, we got to do a little better job of playing with our eyes on defense and, and not – Looking at the quarterback at times, we got to, we got to trust what we're supposed to do. But um, you, you know, you got two weeks off, then you come out and play, and we started hot, like I told you, I thought we would, and then we get a lightning delay. You know, we're in there for two hours. You know, and uh, again, it's just part of it. I'm hoping this weather will go on. You know, so we'll see. Coach, a big win for your team tonight. Good luck. I appreciate you. And uh, who knew it was going to take this long to get your second win after you got your first one? I'm telling you. Yeah. We need to start stacking some together. Yeah, I know, right? Hang on, guys. I got a question real quick. Yes, sir. Um, right there, there were several times during the game when St. Augustine really picked up the pace and played really fast. I know one of the things that you worked on all summer yeah. was our conditioning and us being able to set the tone as right. well. How, how did our condition show tonight? How do you well, feel about Well, you, you we know, one thing I'm really proud of with this team, and it, and, it's, and it happened in the spring, like when the defense, when we gave up those two drives, the offense marched and scored. You know, when the offense may have not done well for a drive, the defense made a stop. They, they seem to play off each other. But there's no doubt our conditioning played a part. They do a great job. They play really, really fast. Um, and that's what happens. They, they, they lull you to sleep. You're so focused on getting lined up, and then you lose your eyes. You start looking in the backfield, and there goes the H back down the pipe that hadn't ran down the pipe in any film we've ever had. But he can, and he did. And uh, you know, so again, we'll learn from it. You know, we, those are those are mistakes we can't make. But I'm proud of our kids. They kept battling, and, and at the end of the day, they only scored 14 points, and, and uh, our offense found a way to finish it. Coach, congratulations. Thank you.